Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Minnesota Twins and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Twins today is Paul Moscow, whose record is 4-5 and five with a 331 ERA. And pitching today for the Detroit Tigers making his season debut is... Morris Madden. Okay, so we had another glitch yesterday uh, with the um, <laughs> with the editing software uh, when I tried to upload the video to the um, uh, to YouTube, uh, it froze and it would not uh, connect to YouTube. And I ended up having to lose that whole video. So uh, we won. We did win the ball game. We won three to two. And I wish I could tell you it was uh, a good game, but it actually wasn't. Let me just show you the box score real quick, and then we'll move on to to uh, today's game. So we won in the bottom of the ninth, and I know you might think that was a, a pretty dramatic victory, but it really wasn't. Um, we had uh, we had the lead early. And then the Twins tied it up. We, we retook the lead um, on a Kirk Gibson home run. And I'm thinking, okay, we're destined to win. And then what happens? We uh, give up another run uh, right away in the eighth inning. And it was so frustrating if you look at the bullpen here. Um, uh, Joaquin Endahar pitched really well. He just about was on the verge of losing it with the uh, two left-handers here. Uh, in the lineup. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take him out. We're going to bring in a lefty. And George Capazillo got us out of a jam. And I was feeling so good about it. And then Mickey Hatcher made an error. Um, that's why uh, Jeff Montgomery has that unearned run there. And then Weaver, once again, absolutely blowing it. His ERA has ballooned from below two to a 527 ERA. So frustrating. Uh, Jerry Uger ended up getting the win in relief, and uh, I did not think that was going to happen with, you know, at all. I figured Jerry Uger would probably uh, cost us the ball game, but we did manage to uh, score in the bottom of the ninth inning uh, as Mickey Hatcher uh, knocked in a run uh, to win, and uh, that was that was the uh, bright spot for the Tigers. So. Uh, let's go ahead and get to today's game. I guess before we get started, also, I want to mention that uh, after tomorrow's game, uh, we will have the end of the month uh, standings and league leaders video. But instead of doing uh, a league leaders video that is um, a summary of the season up till now, we're going to do kind of a special edition version where we're going to look at the, the league leaders uh, since... The sim began in 1980. So we're going to look from at the 1980 to the 1983 uh, season. Uh, who are the cat leaders in all the categories? I think that might be fun uh, to switch it up and take a look at. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow after the final game of the Twins series. So let's get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe. Um, I did get the uh, proofs for the... Uh, Brainiac baseball baseball cards that we're going to have made. I looked at them briefly, so I need to uh, look at them a little more closely before I send them back uh, to be uh, created. But I'm very excited for that. Uh, Morris Mad making his first start of the season. He is a left-hander. Um, all the bullpen is available except for Uger, who had to go um, over an inning yesterday. He went that one in the third inning, so he's not available today. Everybody else is for better or for worse. And then we have the exact same lineup that I used yesterday. Um, Paul Moscow, right-hander. We're going to go with the exact same lineup. And uh, look at all of the players that we have that have 10 home runs. Uh, with Gibby and Henderson really on the verge of having 10 as well. So uh, kind of amazing, really. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Minnesota Twins. Batting leadoff, playing shortstop, is Mike Fishlin. Batting second in right field is Hoskin Powell. Batting third and catching is Dave Angle. Batting cleanup and DHing is Cecil Fielder. Batting fifth in left field is Gary Renicky. 
Batting sixth and playing second base is Tim Tuffle. Batting seventh, playing first base is Mike Anderson. Batting eighth, playing center field is Dion James. And batting ninth, playing third base is Dave Roberts. Let's take a look at Morris Madden. You can see here, not uh, a lot to go on. He um, made three relief appearances in 1980. Did not pitch particularly well. Uh, so we gave him a shot in, um, well, we didn't play him at all in 81. 82, we brought him up. He made one start. Again, not a, not a great job. Um, at tw age 21, he was still in development. And we're hoping now, looking at his... Uh, Triple A stats with making 14 starts, going six and three, the 3.17 ERA. So we're hoping now he is ready for prime time. I would have no problem turning over this role to him uh, the rest of the season uh, if he can prove that he can uh, be a decent starter for us. Uh, his fastball tops out at 92 miles an hour. Uh, his slider is his best pitch. It's rated in 84. His fastball just over league average at 81. And a curveball just below league average. Uh, he's a left-hander. As I mentioned, he's 22 years old. It does not go to arbitration until 1986. He doesn't look very happy. Why is he not? He just doesn't like Detroit. Well, suck it up, Buttercup. Let's um, take a look at Tiger's defense. Uh, looking pretty solid. We have uh, Gold Glovers at first, second, and in center field. And Mike Fishlin leading off against Morris Madden. Madden. A lot of uh, right-handers in the lineup, as you might expect, with a left-hander on the mound. Fishlin hits a fly ball to right, and there is out number one. Hoskin Powell up next. He's the left-hander, batting 274 versus lefties. And Madden walks Powell. So runner on first for Dave Engel. We will play straight away. Powell might be on the move here. Low and inside pitch pulled into left field for a base hit. Runners on first and second for Big Daddy. Cecil Fielder. Fielder loves the left-handers, betting 291 with a 509 slugging percentage. Uh, definitely a double play candidate, so we're, we're going to play straight away. 1-1 one, one count, and a ground ball into the hole. It's short. Trim up. Turns two. A 6-4-3 double play. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Tigers lineup for today's game. Batting leadoff and playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third and DHing is Greg Brock. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing first base is Eddie Murray. Batting sixth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting seventh in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting eighth in left field is Kirk Gibson. And batting ninth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Paul Moscow, he is the staff ace, making his 18th start. He's 4 and 5 with a 331 ERA, uh, 66 Ks and 122 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 251 against him. He's got three complete games, one shutout. His fastball tops out at 91 miles an hour. Uh, his ground ball percentage is uh, 48%. His uh, two best pitches are the changeup and the fork ball, both rated 82. He's got a curve and a fastball as well. Uh, his overall rating is 82. He's 29 years old, uh, making $620,000. Does not go into free agency until 85. And it looks like the Twins have him on the trade block. So he may be on the move before the deadline. Let's take a look at the Twinkies defense. A little bit improved over the lineup versus righties. Uh, Dave Roberts still out there at third. Not so good. And in center field, uh, Deion James well below average as well. Okay, here is Sweet Lou leading off against Paul Moscow. Four for five and two walks in his career. 
That looked like ball four right there. As, uh, yeah, way out of the strike zone. Should have walked on that pitch. Instead, it's a ground out. There's out number one. Here is Alan Trammell. Up in the number two spot. Gets a base hit to left. Uh, do we want to go for two? We will not. Okay, so Trammell on first. What is the percentage? 70% chance of stealing second. I think we will let Greg Brock take a cut. He is... Um, He's in a, 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 a kind of a crushing it lately, is what I'm trying to say. And he comes through with an RBI double down the left field line. It gets right past the uh, third baseman. And that is Brock's seventh double of the season. And it's 1 nothing Detroit here in the first. Next up is Mickey Hatcher. After his error cost the Tigers the lead, he came back and won the ball game. So. All is forgiven. Ground ball to second. Brock advances to third. Two down. Here's Eddie Murray. Murray batting 325 versus right-handers. Slow roller to short. And the play is made by Fishlin. We go to the top of the second. one nothing Detroit. Gary Renneke to lead off. Batting 277 with seven home runs. A ground ball to short. There's one down. Next up is Tim Tuffle. He is a rookie this year. Kind of platooning at second base. Striking out looking there is the first K for Morris this season. Two down. And Mike Anderson. Look at this. Mike Anderson was out of baseball by 1980. That was his last baseball card. Uh, but he gets into the lineup today, playing first base, batting 091 on the season. A comebacker to Madden, and that'll do it. So we move on to the bottom of the second inning. We've got Kennedy, Ricky, and Gibby do up. Here's Terry Kennedy leading off with a fly ball to center. Almost lands in front of James. Makes a nice catch, one down. Next up is Ricky Henderson. We've dropped Henderson and Gibby down in the lineup. Um, overall, Henderson's numbers are not horrible, but, I mean, he just is not someone to have at the top of the lineup. I know that he walks, yes. I know he can steal. But I somehow feel like he's more effective lower in the lineup. Uh, there's a line to right. Two down, and here is Gibby. And Gibby base hit into left field. There we go. He goes the opposite way. For a single, we're going to send Gibby. There's two down. 74% chance of stealing second. Let's see if Gibby can come through for us. Let's go. There it is. Slow pitch. And he's still caught stealing. It's a fastball. It looked like it was a changeup. And Gibby is thrown out. Oh, my God. He's actually been caught stealing more than he's been successful. I did not realize that. Six for 13 on this season. So we go to the top of the third. Here's the other lefty in the lineup. It is Deion James leading off. And a base hit that gets past Hatcher. So leadoff man is on. James has pretty decent speed. Dave Roberts just off the IL, steps in, and James steals second. His sixth stolen base on the year. So now we have a runner in scoring position. We're going to play straight away. There we go. Madden induces a pop-up from Roberts. Right to the edge of the grass at short. Trammell makes the catch. Now we're going to pull the outfield in with one down and Mike Fishlin up. Try to prevent James from scoring on a single. Oh, there we go. Another nice little curveball. Hatcher makes the catch. And that will leave it up to Hoskin Powell. Advantage 
Madden with a lefty-lefty situation. We'll play straight away with two down. Ground ball into the hole. It's short. Trim up. Throws him out. So a nice job there by the uh, rookie getting the uh, ground out with a runner in scoring position. We go to the bottom of the third. Glenn Wilson leading off. He was at the plate when Gibby was thrown out. Ground ball to first. Play is made by Anderson. One down. Back to the top of the lineup with Sweet Lou. Lou into the gap in left center field. Carries well, but still caught. 338 feet. Two down for Trammell. And a slow roller to third. Roberts makes the play. Game is moving along, top of the fourth. Tigers are up 1-0. And Dave Engel leading off the inning. A grounder to third. I expect an error every time now from our boy uh, Hatcher. We really have to, if we're going to keep him, we have to work him uh, into the DH role. And I just don't know, is it better to have Gibby in left? And have uh, Hatcher this as a DH. Because um, we don't really have any other third base options. There's a base hit from Big Daddy. And to uh, right center field. We have Hojo that can play third. But uh, we've already seen that he is not a sound defensive third baseman. That, uh, that slider from Madden against right-handers gets a lot of pop-ups. I see that's a fastball. It looked like a slider. Two down. Just cuts right in on the uh, right-handed batters. That's another example of that as Tuffle lines out to center. We go to the bottom of the fourth. We need to get some uh, get a little rally going here. Let's see if the Brock Ness Monster can get it started. Striking out. I guess he cannot. That's the first K for Moscow. One down. Here is Sticky Mickey. Striking out, looking. Two outs. That will bring up Eddie Murray. And the ground ball that gets past Roberts at third. How is that not a double? I don't know, but we'll take a base hit. And give Terry Kennedy a shot here. Kennedy's average is now under 300. And uh, maybe it's time for us to go back to Parrish full time as it seems like he's kind of in a slump, right? Let's take a look at Kennedy's log. Uh, no, he's still batting 321 in his last 20 games. So, uh, we're wrong about that. Okay, to the top of the fifth. Madden only at 49 pitches. His endurance is 90. This guy can go all day. Let's see if we can keep... Uh, Anderson off the base path. As he leads off, a base hit to left. So the leadoff man is on. He almost doubles his average on the season with that one hit. Here's the lefty, Deion James. He has one of the four hits and a stolen base today. And he gets walked. So Madden looked decent through four innings. Is really on the verge of falling apart here. We're going to play regular depth for a double play. That's going to be tough with the uh, speed on the base path. And that'll get a bunch of runs in. That's going to clear the bases. Oh, James holds it third as Roberts gets his first double on the uh, season. As you can see there. And it's all tied at one and there's nobody out. Got to pull the infield in. See if Madden can get through this. Ground ball to short. That should get the runner at home. It does. Roberts advances. That's a foolish play by Roberts. The ball's in front of him. Um, that doesn't really make sense. But uh, we're going to pull the corners in now. And if it's a ground ball to the corners, we'll try to go for two. If it's a ground ball to, um, to the middle infield, we'll give up a run for a double play situation. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The corners will go home. Middle infield, 
will try to turn two. Okay, here we go. Hoskin Powell. One down. And a fly ball to center. I don't think that's going to be deep enough to get Roberts in. So Madden has a chance here to get out of the uh, inning with only giving up one run. Tough batter Dave Engel having a career year, batting 300 with 11 home runs. Everybody playing straight away here. 1-1 one, one count. And a ground ball to second. I thought it was going to get through, but Whitaker ranging over, making the play. And the game remains tied at one as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Let's get something going here. Ricky Henderson leading off the inning. And a base hit in this left field. We've got Henderson on. We've got a steal. Henderson, I, I did check. I know that we have league leaders uh, tomorrow. But Henderson is actually in second place in stolen bases behind Otis Nixon by one. So let's see if Henderson can uh, tie it up here. A stolen base. There we go. Number 39 on the year. And he is in scoring position for Gibby. We want Gibby to pull the ball, at the very least getting Henderson over, preferably getting it through the infield. 1-1 one, one count, and he hits a grounder to short. Oh, Henderson advances. That is, I mean, again, it's not a, that is not a sound baseball decision. Uh, maybe with Ricky Henderson, I mean, Deion James had an 88 speed too, so I, I guess you can't really fault anyone. Let's try to get a sack fly here from Glenn Wilson. Anywhere in the outfield we'll get a run in with Henderson on third. 1-0 count, and there we go. Fly ball to center. That's the guy you want to hit it to. Henderson tags, scores, and the Tigers retake the lead. It is 2-1. Two, two down, and Sweet Lou at the plate. There we go. Lou walks. Uh, let's have... Trammell take a cut. Let's get a little two-out rally going. Another walk. Back-to-back -back walks. Moscow only at 69 pitches, though. And the Brock Ness Monster here with one swing can uh, kind of give us a little bit of breathing room. Oh, three straight walks. Moscow can't find the plate. And our RBI guy comes to... The box. He's got uh, 51 RBIs leading the team. He's in the top 10. And uh, we're going to just let him take a cut. Two down. Bases loaded. I don't think Mickey Hatcher has any career grand slams. Oh, no, he has two career grand slams. I have a short memory. I drink a lot. Uh, here's Hatcher. Bases loaded. Two down. First pitch swinging. Ground ball to second. So. The damage is limited to just one run. We go to the top of the sixth. Do we let Morris Madden go another inning? Um, a bunch of righties. We don't have Huger though, right? So we've only got we've kind of got to save our two right-handers, which is the rookie Montgomery and uh, Roger Weaver, who can't get an out. So we may as well go with Madden. At least one more inning here with Cecil Fielder leading off. Let's uh, take a look at the in-game stats as well. Player of the game so far. Tough to call. Maybe um, the Brock. Wilson did give us the go-ahead RBI with the sack fly. So, Okay, here's Morris Madden against Fielder. A ground ball, base hit, just past the glove of Murray at first. And uh, once again, the leadoff man. So Madden is playing with fire now. Runner on first, certainly an easy double play candidate with Fielder and Renicky with 70 speed. Well, you can take your time when you get a base at the center. Uh, we got to pull the outfield in for Tim Tuffle. Tim Tuffle's got an 86 power. Uh, I don't re I don't recall him having any power in the majors, but I could be wrong. Okay, so. We're going to pull the um, outfield in. This is the third time through the lineup. So it looks like they're timing him a little bit better. And a walk. So this is completely backfired. Um, 
We may as well have him pitch to Anderson. We're going to pull the infield in, and we're going to do that because we have a lefty coming up next, right? So there's no point in taking out Morris now. It's his uh, to resolve. So we're going to pull the infield in. Anderson, one in for two today. Here we go. 0 1 count. Fly ball to center. Will Fielder score on that fly ball? Oh, he does not. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so here's Deion James. Now, we will play back. Uh, we will give up a run for a double play possibility here with James. James has good speed, but not good speed on the base path. So let's see if we can uh, get out of this inning. 87 pitches for Madden. 2-1 count. And the ground ball to third. Let's go around the horn. Oh, no. The run scores. Hatcher tried to make it happen. They got the force at second. And uh, that will be it for Morris Madden. 91 pitches in his debut. We're going to bring in the rookie, Jeff Montgomery. And uh, Montgomery still working some stuff out. He threw an inning yesterday. Uh, did not give up uh, a run. He did give up a... Oh, no, he did give up a run. It was Oh, yeah, the error by Hatcher. So not his fault. And, uh, and then he had that terrible debut. So the 21-year-old coming in a tough situation here. Dave Roberts, maybe one of the worst hitters in uh, the game. He's got a 70 overall rating. Let's have ha uh, Montgomery go right after. We're we'll playing straight away here. 0 1 count. Fly ball into left center field. Gibby on his horse makes the catch. So the Twins tie it up. It could have been worse, I suppose. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning with Eddie Murray leading off. Murray, Kennedy, and Ricky. We have just not been clutch with uh, base hits today. We've had enough base runners on. Five hits and uh, three walks. But only two runs, so... Murray grounds out to third. Terry Kennedy, yeah, I think Kennedy... I think Kennedy's run his course. He pops up to short. Two down. And Ricky strikes out. God, he is horrible. We go to the top of the seventh inning. We're going to try to get one more inning out of uh, Jeff Montgomery here. Fishlin will lead off. He's 0 for 3 today. And a base at the center. The leadoff man feels like he's been on every single inning. Hoskin Powell up next. He's a left-hander betting 315 versus right. He's going to guard the line. Here we go. Stolen base from Fishlin. That's his eighth on the year. Um, well, we don't need to guard the line now, do we? Uh, Powell's got no power, so we're going to pull the outfield in. Try to prevent Fishlin scoring. We've been playing with fire all day. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Leadoff man gets on, steals second, and scores on a base hit. And there was nothing we were going to do about that. Another hit. Yeah, this game's over. Pull the infield in. A comebacker to Montgomery. Put the runner at home. A walk. Walk. Pop up. Gonna bring in a left hander. We're gonna bring in the creeper. Why not? There's the creeper, Paul Gibson. Not doing well. There's bases loaded for Deion James. Two down. So the Twins scored two. They scored three innings in a row now. And um, our bullpen is just not coming through. We have no clutch hitting. 
We're losing to a so-called, air quotes, ace, Paul Moscow, who is a terrible pitcher. And Lou gets all of it for a home run. That'll make it four to three. Lou's 12th home run on the season. He keeps up this pace. He's going to blow by his uh, career high of 19. Two down, one run in. Here's Trammell. Trammell flies out to a left center. You go to the eighth inning. Um, we're going to have Gibby, uh, Paul Gibson, go another inning. There's no point in bringing in uh, Weaver. So we're going to let Gibson pitch to um, the light-hitting Roberts, light-hitting Fishlin, and then the lefty. There we go. Dave Roberts. Line drive into center. One out. Pull the outfield in for Fishlin. Brown ball to short. That was a nine pitch at bat. And the left-hander, Hoskin Powell, versus the Creeper, 2-0 count. Base hit the left. So we, he gets the, and a double, makes to make it a double. Yeah, uh, he gets the two right-handers and then he can't get the lefty. 24 doubles. For Hoskin Powell, you could take any five Tiger batters, choose your five, and none of them combined have 24. Um, I mean, what the hell? Ground ball to short. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Doug Corbett coming into the ball game. He is the closer. This guy should be an all-star. 27th game today. He's 0-2 uh, with a 273 ERA. Well, he walks. As, uh, his walk to strikeout ratio, not great. 14 Ks in 29 and two-third innings. Opponents are betting 229 against him. 16 saves, only two blueies. This guy has, his fastball is worse than Dave Rosemont. That's crazy. Ground ball percent is 50% uh, of the time. His sinker, that, well, that's why he throws well at ground balls. Sinker is rated an 89. A couple other pitches below average. His uh, overall rating is an 81. He will go to arbitration at the end of this season. Tigers are down by one. We have uh, three, four, and five due up, starting with Greg Brock. And Brock goes deep to left field. For a solo shot, that is number 11 on the season for Greg Brock. Look at this. He's only played in 50 games, less than 200 at-bats. He's not even an everyday player, and he is absolutely crushing it, which is why we're pr probably going to let um, Murray go at the end of the year. We'll have to give him away for nothing, but uh, he will not be resigned. Okay, Mickey Hatcher. Our game's all tied at four. As Mickey Hatcher steps up, this feels like a major tease, though, doesn't it? Hatcher grounds out. He's 0 for 4 on the day. Hatcher strikes out. How do you strike out on a guy that I throw a fastball faster than him? Two down. Here's uh, Kennedy in a huge sucking slump. Strikes out. So that's pathetic. We go to the uh, top of the ninth inning. We have to bring in our closer. That's Roger Weaver, the worst pitcher on the team. Uh, we'll just look at his log. I mean, this guy is horrible. A 7.85 ERA in his last 20 games. And uh, what else can I do? Uh, we we will probably. I mean, we'll go to arbitration with him, but we'll probably trade him in the offseason. Okay, well, he's got Big Daddy, Gary Renicky, and Tim Tuffle do up. Here's Cecil, two for four on the day. Striking him out. One down. 
Next up is Gary Renicki. Batting 286 versus righties. High fly ball, pop up actually on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. And Whitaker makes the catch. So that's going to leave it up to Tim Tuffle. We're going to bring the outfield in for him. We don't want any single coming, uh, falling in in front of the outfielder. Doesn't matter. Line drive to third, and the Tigers will have a chance here to walk it off. I like Henderson to lead off the inning. If he gets on, he is going. Especially with a guy that has an 84-mile-an-hour fastball. All right, 2-2 count to Ricky, and a ground ball to second. One down. Here's Gibson, one for three on the day. Caught stealing. That is three strikeouts for Doug Corbett. We are on the verge of free baseball. I'm going to take out Glenn Wilson. And we're going to bring in uh, Kevin Bass. Kevin Bass, switch hitter. So he's going to bat left-hander. Uh, look at his log. Look at it. He's had four home runs in the last, what is that, five games? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah. So, he's been lifting. Let's see if he can come through. Let's walk it off right here, Kevin Bass. Betting 333 versus righties. 727 slugging percentage. Full count. And a ground ball. Base hit. Just gets past Tuffle at second. Uh, no, we don't want to go for two. We will leave. Uh, leave it in the hands of uh, Sweet Lou here. Should we steal with Bass? It's two down. What's the per well, Let's see. What's the percentage? Seventy-one percent. Why not? Why not have him attempt to steal? Let's use the let's use the wheels here. Get in scoring position for Lou. He, he throws slow. We know that. So let's see if we can uh, get a sinker in the dirt here. Two down, runner on first. Bass is going. And he steals second base. Nice. Second stolen base on the season. He's two for two. And Whitaker, 300 hitter versus righties, has a chance to walk it off. Here we go. It's a 1 0 count. Oh, he's going to intentionally walk him. Intentionally walking him to get to Trammel. That's a, probably a good move. If you play the odds, but Trammell's batting 306 versus righties. So let's see how Trammell does here. We're not going to pinch hit. We're going to let Trammell do his thing. He's one for three at the walk today. Full count. Ground ball to first. And we've got free baseball. Oh no, we got to face Roger Weaver going another inning. Top of the 10th. Here's Mike Anderson, Mr. Anderson. 2-1 count, and the ground ball to first. I, I, every ground ball I'm going to just assume is going to be an error. That's the only thing I can safely say will happen. I can't imagine us winning this ball game, but we just might. Uh, there's a base at the center. Lefty Deion James gets a hit. That is his second hit today. Here is Dave Roberts. Now we know James could be going here. But we got to play straight away with Dave Roberts. Roberts one for four on the day. And a base hit. All right. Now we got to pull the outfield in. A double play would be great. Come on, Weaver. Choke artist. Brown ball to short. Come on, let's get two. Yes. There we go. We get out of the top of the 10th. We go to the bottom half. Al Holland, left-handed closer in his first game as a Twinkie. He got traded over here earlier this season. And for whatever reason, the Twins put him in AAA. So now they brought him up uh, with the last flurry of trades that they made. And he was the Giants' closer. The Giants have packed it in. They traded Jack Clark. They traded Al Holland. And uh, the lefty's going to face Greg Brock here. Now, we can't 
in good conscience let Greg Brock, a 105 hitter, bat uh, versus Al Holland. So we're going to bring in Hojo. Now, I, uh, Hojo's not. Yeah, he's not much better versus lefties, but he's a switch hitter, and we got to play the percentages. Here we go Hojo versus Al Holland. 2 0 count. Fly ball to right center field, and it will be caught by the right fielder Powell. One down. Here's Mickey Hatcher. He is due. He's 0 for 4 at the strikeout today. Oh, what a terrible game for Hatcher. Strikes out for the second time. That's going to leave it up to Eddie Murray to walk this game off. He's a 306 hitter versus lefties. And he walks. Now that makes sense. So we're going to, I mean, that was probably an, uh, an unintentional, intentional walk. So Kennedy comes out for Lance Parrish. No pants Lance. He's been hitting it deep. He's got four home runs in his last 20 games. And uh, we're going to let him take a cut. It's two outs. No point in pinch running. Either Parrish comes through or he doesn't. 2-2 two -two count. And he strikes out. Oh, come on. We're going to the 11th inning. Um, defensively, we're okay because Parrish is going to catch. And we're good everywhere else. So. All right. Well, Weaver went two innings, and we have to pull him out. Now, of these two clowns that we have left, what are the splits? Rucker gets righties out, and we have a lot of righties left. That's probably the way to go. And Cappy also gets righties out and does not get lefties out at all. Um, so we're going to let Rucker pitch. This is, you know, I mean, when we get deep in our bullpen with tired relievers, we we lose the advantage that we had for the first uh, two-plus months of the season. So Rucker in there to face Hoskin Powell. Powell, two for four today. That looked like ball four. It doesn't matter. It's a base hit. Shoots it right past Trammell into left field. And the leadoff man is on. Will ha uh, Powell be going here? Is the question. We have Parrish behind the plate. He has a better arm than Kennedy. Okay. I mean, Rucker gets the righties out. It doesn't make sense. But uh, we'll take the strikeout of Angle. Now, here's Cecil Fielder. He's only 19 years old in this game, by the way. You see, he's 19 years old. So I'd like to think the veteran can handle Cecil Fielder. Although Fielder's betting 310 versus lefties. And a ground ball to second. Double play. All right. Oh man, this is this is turning out to be a pretty good ball game. We go to the bottom of the eleventh inning. Here is Ricky B. Ricky batting 300 versus left-handers. He's leading off an inning again. And a ground ball to second. Tigers have eight hits against this horrible pitching staff. Uh, Gibby, do we let Gibby bat? I mean, we could bring in Eddie Miller. He's a switch hitter, and he is batting 500, 5 for 10 versus lefties. I guess we'll go with the odds. Gibby, Gibby hits lefties okay. But we like Eddie Miller here with one down. Everybody's getting into the ball game. Ground ball to second. Tuffle's been busy at second base today. And that will bring us back to Kevin Bass. One for one today. Facing a left-hander. Not a good left-handed hitter. And a base hit up the middle. Big hit Bass comes through. Okay, we like Sweet Lou in this uh, position. He is a good hitter versus left-handers. Do we steal with Bass again? We have a lefty on the mound, so he's staring him down over there. Uh, I think we have to let Whitaker swing. I, I think it's... I mean, it's a risk, but um, 
But let's walk it off now with a with a home run. Okay, we'll take ball four. That gets Bass into scoring position for Trammell. Now, Trammell does not hit lefties. I don't know why um, it doesn't work for him, but uh, he does have some power, I guess. All we need is a base hit, and we win this ball game right now. Let's go, Tram. Full count. And he strikes out. Oh, and Holland comes up listed as tired. So I don't know if they're going to bring him back out uh, for the bottom of the 12th. The deeper we get into the bullpen for the Twins, the better I feel. We go to the 12th inning. Renicky leading off. Rucker back on the mound. We've only got Capizello, but we do have a bunch of righties, so maybe Rucker's going to get lucky here. Here's Gary Renicky leading off. Ground ball to second. One down. Next up is Tim Tuffle, outfield in. First pitch swinging, popping it up into foul ground on the third base side. Both defenses have been flawless today. That might be something that uh, will determine the victory. Oh, and Anderson strikes out. I mean, how can you argue with Rucker pitching against right-handers? It makes no sense. Okay, here is Paul Boris coming into the ball game for the Twinkies. He is pitching in his 16th game, 4-3 and three with a... 293 ERA, two saves, one bluey. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. He's got a slider uh, that's rated an 84. That is his best pitch, really his only pitch. Overall rated a 72, but a pretty damn good ERA for a, a guy that's well below average. 27-year-old right-hander goes to arbitration at the end of the year. So we like this. Hojo, much better hitter versus righties. He came in, pinch hit for uh, Brock. Oh, and he strikes out looking. One down. Here's Mickey Hatcher. Hatcher, 0 for 5 today. This guy is due. Fly ball into right field. Let's make it 0 for 6. Two down. Here's Eddie Murray. Hey, a base hit for Murray into right field. He's two for five today. No, we're not going to go for two. Now Parrish will face uh, a right-hander. He's only a 206 hitter versus righties. We expect nothing, and we get it. We go to the top of the 13th. That's going to do it for Rucker. We're going to bring in Cappy. George Capizello. Oh, man, 30 games already this year. 2-2, two and two, a 2.20 ERA. I sound frustrated. I shouldn't be. The numbers look great. If you look at his log, um, he does have an ERA of 3 in his last 20 games. So I guess he has not been horrible. Uh, more walks than I'd like to see. And he's 0-2. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. But we're going to throw him out there. He's got to face Deion James, who's a lefty. And then he's got a bunch of righties. And again, he is better versus righties somehow. James pops it up on the infield. Murray, Gold Glover, makes the catch. One down. Next up is Dave Roberts. Two for five today for Dave Roberts. Oh, man, that's a gapper into right center field. Off the wall for a triple. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So we're going to intentionally walk Fishlips to get to the left-hander, Powell. Um, oh, no. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull the infield in. This is a light-hitting shortstop. So if he gets a base hit, we're screwed. Uh, but we would have been screwed anyway, probably. So a triple for Roberts. He's on third base. There's one down. We're pulling the infield in as Capizello on the verge of giving the ball game away here. Full count. 
And he walks him anyway. So... Um, I guess we just... I don't know what we're going to do. Let's pull the infield in. Yeah, so that's the ball game. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> we held in there for a long time, but it just wasn't meant to be. So the Twins score three. We go to the bottom of the 13th. Ricky Henderson leading off. And then Eddie Miller. Kevin Bass. Tigers lose again. Seven to four. Any trade offers? No, nope. not even, not even bothering. Yeah, I mean, New York's one game back. Boston is one and a half back. The only good thing about what's happening to us now is I think maybe we see what our team truly is, you know, consists of. And the best thing about this is if we get a few games back of whoever leads the division, we can sell off everybody because we have so many players that are going to. Uh, free agency or arbitration, like crucial players that we can get rid of a bunch of these guys and maybe build for the future. Cause this is probably our one and only shot uh, this year. Um, Cause we can't afford to keep everybody. So um, New York now has as many wins as we do. What do the Yankees have um, for the, this calendar a month? They're 15 and 11. They're not even that good. We're 11 and 15, so somehow that made up all the ground. Um, that makes no sense. I, I don't get it. Um, headline news. Mike Richard gets five RBIs. Um, is he on the Dodgers? I guess so. Uh, yeah. Dodgers beat the Reds uh, 9 to 8. Um, all right, 11-5 win. Pat Dodson had a couple of hits. Uh, the Yankees win 8-3. <laughs> you know. We know. Uh, let's take a look at transactions. Nothing to report. Let's pull up a box score and get out of here. Player of the game. Uh, I, I really don't want to give it to anybody. Uh, these kind of, I mean, how do we give up 17 hits to the Twins and only get 10 in 13 innings with our best players out there today? Player of the game. We're going to give it to uh, Greg Brock. He had a double and a home run, knocked in two runs. Madden, not a poor performance, uh, but choked there going into the uh, sixth inning. Montgomery, uh, just was terrible. Capizello, uh, the error there in, in the um, 13th inning by Hatcher didn't help out. So one of those r r uh, runs were unearned. So that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game three of the three game series, followed by the league leaders and uh, standings video. Until then, everyone have a great night.